If you love Samsung and you love Windows Phone 8, this is your lucky day. Actually, tomorrow's your lucky day. How's it going, guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and the Samsung Ativ Odyssey finally coming to Verizon tomorrow, the 24th Thursday, for $49.99, bringing Samsung and Windows Phone 8 together in the U.S. for the first time. It's packing a 1.5 gigahertz dual-core Snapdragon S4 CPU, a 4-inch Super AMOLED display, 5 megapixel camera, Windows Phone 8, and 4G LTE. Is this the device for you on Verizon or should you splurge for the 8X or maybe get the Nokia Lumia 822 instead? We'll find out in the unboxing, which starts right now. You may have been waiting for a while, but you finally got a Samsung device in the US that's running Windows Phone 8. This is the Samsung Ativ Odyssey. We've seen this thing and heard about it for a while, but it's finally coming to Verizon tomorrow, the 24th, which is Thursday, for $49.99 with a two-year agreement. Now, this thing is packing some decent specifications that are right on par with the other Windows Phone 8 devices that are out on the marketplace. It's got a 1.5 gigahertz dual-core Snapdragon S4 CPU. It's got a 4-inch Super AMOLED display with 480 by 800 pixels. It's got a 2,100 milliamp hour battery, 4G LTE connectivity, 1 gigabyte of RAM, like I said, Windows Phone 8 as well on this device, 5 megapixel camera with 720p uh, HD video recording capability. So we're going to pull this off as well. 50 bucks, so get you a decent device. And what I like about this is it's got a nice big 2,100 milliamp hour battery. Now at 4 inches, it may be a little bit too small. For some people, you may want to go with something like the 8X or something like the Lumia 920 if you're looking for a high-end Windows Phone 8 device. But for those people that like Samsung, you like Samsung's products, you've been waiting for that Windows Phone device, this could be the ultimate unit for you. So we obviously have this typical Samsung accessories here, USB cable, we've got an AC adapter module right here. So nothing too exciting out of the box. We've got the Ativ Odyssey manuals in here as well. Let's see what we've got down in here. Reading stuff you're never going to look at and probably never going to take out of this little plastic baggy thing. But you know what? For the unboxing, we're going to do it. Product safety and warranty information, global support calling card, uh, blah, blah. Consumer information about radio frequency emissions. Important consumer information, Información importante al consumidor, as comienza aquí, start here. So you get a lot of different guides. If you want to read some Spanish guides, you want to read some English guides, you got a bunch of different choices down in the box. I'm all about choice, and so that makes me particularly, particularly happy. Now, before we get into the full unboxing, special thanks to our partners at Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like this. For use in our One Paul Bandit giveaway game, they do a super awesome job, and you win these for free at Instant Win. Dot phone dog dot com. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile, you'll walk out working. They'll be set up your email, your web, your contacts, and settings. So when you walk out the door, you're good to go at Best Buy Mobile. Special thanks to our friends at Samsung as well for giving us a device to unbox and review for a couple of weeks. So here's the Ativ Odyssey. It was already actually powered on, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. And you can see the design, typical Samsung look and feel with the power button on the right side, camera shortcut button down here at the bottom right. Over on this side, you've got a micro SD card slot, a volume rocker, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top, and a micro USB charging port down at the bottom. Now the battery door does come off, but let's see, I might have some issues getting this battery door. There we go, okay. Little slot there to remove it on the side. You've got your micro SIM card, your Verizon 4G LTE micro SIM card, and a 2100 milliamp hour battery right there. So bonus, nice big battery, because 4G LTE, let's be honest, is quite the power hog. And so I'm not putting this battery cover back on as good as I should. There we go, bam, perfect. And then got fingerprints all over the screen, but that's okay. English, United States, Windows Phone terms of use. And again, four inch display. So juxtapose this to something like the One X Plus, which I'm using right now under the 30 day challenge. And you can really see the size difference between the displays here. I mean, much, much different. That said, if you're coming from an iPhone 5, you're coming from something like that, you should be fine, <clears throat> excuse me, with this particular device. And what I like about it is it fits pretty well in the hand. It's got kind of a nice blue color scheme as well. So it's a well-built device for 50 bucks with back, home, and search buttons down at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and do all this. Yes, we're in UTC. Yeah, we're in Central Time. That's close enough. Which is minus is minus six. Send location. And let's set up the phone. We're going to sign in later. And we're going to get the phone set up. Now this typically takes a little bit of time. So it took a hot minute, but all the apps have finished installing. I don't know why it takes so long on Windows Phone 8 for whatever reason, but it does. Verizon Setup Wizard. We're going to skip through all of this so we can take a look and see what comes pre-installed out of the box. Now this is a Verizon device. And one thing I like that Verizon devices come with, at least on the Windows Phone 8 side, data sense. I find this to be a really useful application. I've covered this on Verizon's 8X, on the Lumia 822, and now on the Ativ Odyssey by Samsung. So we're going to get more out of the data 
update it. We're gonna go not now, because I wanna show you what the application looks like. So let's say you're with Verizon, you get two gigabytes of mobile data per month. What you can do is come in here to settings, you can set a limit, and let's say, you know what, monthly we get two gigabytes of data. So we're gonna type in two, the monthly reset date, our bill cycle resets on the 18th, let's say and I'll go ahead and save that. Well then I can come back through here and see my current data limit and I can go back and say that I have two of two gigabytes remaining, my data will reset in 26 days and then I can come over here to usage and really see where the data usage is coming from. So people and system and I can really work to conserve data and actually the application works within itself to conserve data as well. Now if you're coming from Windows Phone 7 or 7.5 you're gonna see some substantial changes to the way Windows Phone 8 looks. Yes, the Metro UI is kind of still there, the tiles are still there but you'll notice that you can customize the size and the overall look and feel of these tiles. So what I like is messaging, for example. I can see a preview, so this Windows phone, for example, I can see a preview of the text messaging, and this is something I've fought for since the Windows phone seven days. I'm like, you know what, we should be able to do this and make these any size that we want. Back through here, for example, if I wanna make it that size, I should be able to come down here and add it right back and be good to go and bring up people, for example, I can make it a little bit larger. But you got the customization choices here and another option when it comes to customization and settings, you've got themes you can choose from. So we'll go to accent color and you've got a bunch of different accent color options as well. So you can change it to something like brown, for example, or you can change it to some of the new ones, olive, mauve, gray, actually I think it's called slate steel, that's right. And you can change the colors around right there. So really some more customization choices. You can also customize the lock screen, which I really like. That's the one thing I do miss from HTC's Windows Phone 8 devices, the lock screen, because you've got the ability to come in here to lock screen, for example, not internet sharing, lock screen. Go to background, and you've got live wallpaper or photo editor on the Samsung side, but I do miss HTC's little weather widget, their HTC hub kind of look and feel. But what you do get is Bing, live wallpaper, and photo editor. So I can click on live wallpaper, I can open application, I can choose a picture. Let's see, I don't have any live wallpapers in here at the moment. But we'll go back and say Bing, for example. And when I turn the phone off and back on, you'll notice that my lock screen is gonna change on a daily basis based on whatever that background is for Bing. And of course you can see my shortcuts down at the bottom. You've got Internet Explorer as well, 4G LTE connectivity. We're gonna do recommended settings. And you can see the keyboard again for a four inch display, easy to type on, and as usual, portrait the landscape transitions are nice and fast. Keep it locked on phonedog.com for continuing coverage of the Samsung Ative Odyssey. We'll have a full review, we'll have a bunch of great content on this site, on this device rather, on the site and more, so stay tuned. In the meantime, be sure to follow me on Twitter, phonedog underscore Aaron. Let me know what you think of this device. I'd love to hear your thoughts, what you wanna see in the review, if you think this is the ultimate Windows phone device, if you're gunning for an HTC or a Nokia device, let me know, phonedog underscore Aaron on Twitter, Facebook, facebook.com slash phone dog and on Google Plus now at gplus.to slash phone dog. Much more coverage to come on the Ative Odyssey on phonedog.com, so stay tuned.